Hello guys, welcome to Cliff's Rockin' Sports. Got my all-time KISS t-shirt on so you guys can see all the members of KISS. Uh, let's get started with this. Here we go. Okay, so today, there's not a whole bunch that I can tell you about, but um, I do have some NASCAR Daytona 500 news. Michael McDowell won the race after a fiery final lap crash. Okay, now, these guys, their job, if you're Austin Dillon, one of those Watch guys... Watch this oh, run Kevin sorry. Harvick has on the bottom. Now, the Huge push can go to the outside. They're all trying to build that run that Keselowski did. Here goes the three car. Will Dillon have help? No, they come down to block. Logano goes back up. Keselowski with him. McDowell in tow. Dillon on the bottom. The run's on top. Oh! Teammates. Around they go in a hard crash. Kyle Busch. Kyle uh, Larson. Caution is up. out. Bubba Wallace is in this. Austin Sendrick. Hard hit by Kyle Busch. Caution's out. McDowell is first to the line, but will have to go back to the moment of caution, which ends the race. Brad Keselowski is climbing out. He's okay. Joey Logano, we see taking off the gloves and the steering wheel. I think McDowell's the winner of this race, well, guys. He was first to cross the line. NASCAR will review and have to determine the finish at the moment of caution. And we'll Boy, wait this for official is going to be a huge win if that's the case. But Bob Jenkins' front row motorsports crew is celebrating on pit road. Oh, wouldn't that be incredible? You're going to see some emotion out of this oh, guy if this yeah. comes back official. A lot of tore up race cars. All the Chevy's torn up. You saw Priest with damage, Chase Elliott with damage. This was a, a really hard hit. Kyle Busch, when he came in. Yes. And the AMR safety crew very quickly on the scene. Being directed. Look at the damage to the wall. It's a bumper cover up there. And there's Kyle Busch climbing out. That is a great sign. Involving Joey Logano, Brad Keselowski, and Kyle Busch. Wow, that was pretty crazy. Um, the Olympics in Tokyo. After a year-long delay, the Tokyo Olympics are scheduled to take place this summer. Opening week will be swimming and gymnastics. And that'll be scheduled for July 24th through the August 3rd. Track and field will start July 30th and uh, end on the final day August 8th. The men's marathon and other tournaments, uh, basketball, baseball, softball, volleyball, water polo, soccer, and beach volleyball should run the whole duration of the Olympics. National hockey, the leaders so far uh, in the north, uh, Toronto has 13 wins and 3 losses. They're number 1. And number 2 in the north are the uh, is Edmonton with 11 wins and 8 losses. The central division, uh, number 1 is Florida with 11 wins and 2 losses. And number 2 in the central is Carolina with... 11 wins and 3 losses. In the East, uh, Boston is number 1 with 10 wins and 3 losses. Philadelphia is second with 8 wins and 3 losses. In the West, uh, St. Louis is number 1 with 10 wins and 5 losses. And Las Vegas is in second with 10 wins and 3 losses. So that's all the hockey news. 
for basketball. The leaders in the East are uh, Philadelphia with 20 wins and 10 losses. Brooklyn is second with 19 wins and 12 losses. And then we got over in the West, number one is Utah with 24 wins and 6 losses. And our Los Angeles Lakers are in second with 22 wins and 8 losses. I'm sure this will be updated real quick. Um, the last thing I have for you, because sports are kind of having a hard time right now, uh, but... Um, Major League Baseball Spring to right field. Adele was in, angling back. He gets there. Whoa! And he just put it right over the fence. Like a setter in volleyball. <laughs> he just pushed it right over. I've seen balls go off heads, Jose Canseco, off gloves. But... Oh! 54. What? That was awesome. <laughs> uh, this is playable, I think, for Tapia. And this gets away from Murphy, backed up by Walters. Go. They got him hung up. He dropped it once. Oh, and he boy. throws it, and it hits. Unbelievable. Hits Calhoun in the back. I mean, they have him dead to rights. Oh, they say he moved into it intentionally. They're calling oh, okay. him out. Looking the whole way. Yeah, he put his he, helmet right he, there. He put his helmet into the to the baseball on the throw. He's tossing the ball game. Josh James now joins Brooks Raley in the pen. Oh my! Everybody knows what sign they're going with now. <laughs> this is incredible. It just. He told everybody what the signs are going with. I mean, how does Brandon Crawford not hear that? I, uh, <laughs> I love that. It works. <laughs> it pops him up. Who wants it? Josh Reddick calls off everybody. Felt to do, but he's taking his walks. Checked his swing and took a strike. That's the second time Donaldson's taken issue with Dan Bellino. You can see him say, I'm asking, was it on the swing or was it on the pitch? And then this, deep down the left field line, home run. Donaldson with a solo home run. And the Twins have hit three against Lopez this afternoon. And what a move by manager Rocco Baldelli to come out and defuse that situation, let Donaldson focus back in on what he's trying to do. And then the spark that he needed. Donaldson didn't miss it. <laughs> he tossed him. They just tossed Donaldson for kicking dirt on home plate as he crossed home plate. Again, Devalda doesn't have a hit today. He's looking to cash in here. And he got the knuckleball oh, in for a strike. He called him out. Struck him out. Oh my gosh. How about that? Like a latter day R.A. Dickey. Can't oh, complain boy, here. Boy, he's Just... not going to live that one down. Here comes the one two. That's four straight strikeouts now for Trevor Bauer. One away. Yeah, you get the two strikes with this guy. I mean, he's got you right where he wants you. A lot of strikeouts with two strikes, not a lot of hits. Obviously, went to the home plate umpire, Corey Blazer, and said something. And so he walked into the dugout with Martin Maldonado and called out the Padres grounds crew to kind of clean up that landing spot. Now they're checking with Zach to see if it's to his liking here. 
Yeah, Zach, Zach went out there and said, hey, guys, I've got phenomenal numbers in this Petco Park. Yeah. Something is wrong with the mound. <laughs> they at the beach for Zach. Yeah, he's just, hey, what, you guys working? I'll just be here. You guys let me know when you're done. He is some kind of nice. All right, Zach's like, my rest is over. Thank you, guys. JT came to the big leagues in 2014 at the age of 23 as the Fanatic makes his way uh, through the area of our first responders. The game should start February 28th. Um, so, well, hopefully get a, a whole bunch of good baseball coming up and hopefully the Dodgers and the Angels will do well this year and just for you Leland hopefully the Giants too well guys uh, that's all I got for you sorry it was a little bit short it took me a, a lot longer to research it than it did to present it but all right Hey guys, uh, next time on Cliff's Rockin' Sports, uh, I probably won't be playing my guitar because I just bought a brand new bass guitar. So I'll probably be jamming on the bass next time. So, All right, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. And I'm going to end this with a, another tune. Here we go!